YouTube football have had some iconic moments in the past. We could add another one to that, and that is Chris ranking them because he had an absolute shocker. The comments were roasting him. And today, ladies and gentlemen, off the back of Simon doing it and getting a lot of praise, I'm going to give my expertise and rank YouTube's greatest moments. We have the same tiers as Simon and Chris did in their videos. We've got goat tier, hang it in the Louvre, streets won't forget, streets may forget, and won't be remembered after 2030. Now, I feel like Chris is a little bit bias towards himself never seen him do that before so i'm going to try and remain unbiased and base it off you know what i grew up and watched and uh, what i obviously think first up we have speed's tackle and the iconic picture of him standing over jj in the uh sidemen charity match now this definitely <laughs> made the tone for the game it's a horrendous challenge if it was on me i probably would have gone off in a stretcher in terms of like where do we put it I probably would say like it's probably streets may forget or won't be remembered after 2030 like the photo is very cool but the actual tackle I'm not too sure where that would go I'm gonna put it in streets may forget is that harsh I don't know all right next up we have Simon hitting Kevin De Bruyne in the face and the amount of replays that was shown for this was an absolute joke it was well worth it every single replay I, I don't get how this can go anywhere other than go this is one of my favorite clips I've ever seen ever I mean what are the chances of a Rabona onto the post and hitting like one of the greatest midfielders ever in the face like that that is just absolute comedy gold and for me that is so clearly in the goat status all right next up uh, um, Chris's flicks over Jamie Carragher and Robert Perez. I've seen this too many times. Don't get me wrong, this is an amazing clip, especially for Chris, you know. He probably has some bias towards it because it's him who did it and like over his like icon Perez and whatever. But realistically, other than Chris MD himself, who's actually remembering that? Like, I, I personally have forgotten about it. That's too harsh, isn't it? That's too harsh. Now, realistically, like, it's a cool moment, but it is going to be forgotten or it won't be remembered after 2030. I, I want to put it like, oh, his streets won't forget. Oh, this is a trick one. You know what? Fuck Chris. He's going in streets may forget. That is a cool moment, but I feel, feel like for him personally, it's like a lot bigger than it was. Sorry, Chris. Anissa Gibb plays football. Now, this is a skill I don't think I've ever seen before. This kind of rainbow flick is a joke. I think if you gave him 100 extra goes to recreate this skill, Gibb could not do this. I don't even think I know anyone who could do this. Not even Zlatan Ibrahimovic. However, how iconic is that YouTube moment? I'm sorry, Gibb. I'm going to go won't be remembered after 2030 because realistically, it probably won't. Even though if you're in like that FIFA community, you know it. Is it iconic? Is it like a great YouTube moment? I'm probably saying no. But the skill itself take nothing away from it Gib you looked absolutely world class in that Harry versus Cristiano Ronaldo now first of all how this is insane he got to film with Ronaldo at his house like not just like a sit down video like an actual football video and then to whack it I will say it's basically bins like it's almost top bins and shushing Cristiano Ronaldo the balls on the lad imagine shushing him and he doesn't score it it gets better every time you know what, what do you think what do you think Ronaldo's actually thinking in that situation Situation. He's probably just thinking like, why is this guy in my garden? Why is he shushing me? You gotta say, look, hands together for that. That's fair play. That 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 right there, I, I wanna put like streets won't forget or hang it in the loop. I don't think it's quite goat status, but I think I'm gonna that's my first one in the hang it in the loop. Man, he shushed Cristiano Ronaldo in his own back garden. This is football heritage. That right there is you, you have to hang it in the loop. Just that that face whack it up on the wall baits and shorts this clip gets it gets memed every year there is something that gets memed about this 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 clip i feel like i can't put it in hang it in the louvre can i i feel like i'm gonna have to put streets won't forget baits and shorts falling down man that has to be streets won't forget that's, that's a class one the pussy destroyer <laughs> the pussy destroyer man. that is so <laughs> going into the illuminati as well oh i mean Streets won't forget? Nah, no, I can't. You can't put that in Streets won't forget. I'm gonna put Streets may forget. There's no way. It was filmed in the same area, but a different one. I think Simon's time to smash it has got to go in. Streets won't forget because that will never be forgotten. Like think how many times you take a, a crossbar attempt and you go, I'm time to smash it. The Pussy Destroyer can't be on the same level as Simon Street, uh, Simon's time to smash it. So I'm gonna go Kalax in Streets may forget, Simon in Streets won't forget, I think. 
Think how many times people say time to smash it in like football videos. Oh, I'm putting Simon and Hang in the loop. I'm doing it. Right, next up we have footballers fake these tricks. Oh wait, is this the Kieran Brown video that just did like 50 million views in a month? It is, isn't it? And he and he gained like 300k subs. Mate, this this was the craziest. I remember this so well because I I'd like go on the video and be like, oh, I was doing well. Then you come back the next day, it's on 20 million views and he's gained like half a million subs or something stupid like that. Even Kieran has no idea why that video popped off like that. I mean, it is pretty crazy. It's on 50 million views. The video genuinely gave him like half a million subscribers. I'm not even joking, I think. It's such a good idea though, isn't it? Like it is a banging idea. 50 mil. Oh, it is a good, it is good. Oh, mate. You know what? We should recreate this video five years later. Probably wouldn't do as well. Only five minutes long though, Kieran. Missed out on the mid-rolls there. I'm going to put this video in Streets Won't Forget. Maybe not as a, like a YouTube fan, but I, if you're a YouTuber, when you saw this go live and saw what happened for that following month, you, you were like, wow, I'll never forget what happened there. Pretty crazy it's that high, but hey, shoot me. Well, I didn't know this bit clip by the way when he gets flattened by JJ is actually on Vic's channel. Mate, these were the golden eras man. You could go to a pitch, everyone films a short little football video and it would bang 27 million views. But oh my god, Vic went so far. Oh he went flying. Oh poor guy man. Poor guy. Stop Vic abuse. Hashtag it. I'm gonna put in streets may forget for that one. It was cool but realistically in terms of like the grand scheme of things. I feel like I put Kieran's video too. Oh no I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm gonna leave it as it is. That that's going in streets may forget. Wait, this halfway line shot is an absolute joke. But like, do you know how many times people would have attempted like a halfway line shot, let alone in a charity match in front of like tens of thousands of people and like loads online? To even attempt it, but to pull it off as well. Talk about YouTube charity match hero, Simon, you got to have the most goals. He scores from the halfway line. He loved freaking the other guy in the other match recently as well. I genuinely think Simon's halfway line can go in quite high. Oh, that is so iconic. Streets won't forget. It's not quite as iconic as his time to smash it, but Streets will never forget that goal. That is, that is absolutely incredible. Chris's solo effort. I think this was the game where it was like 2-0. It was one of like the poorer charity matches. It was 2-0 to the All-Stars. It was like one goal at the start of the match, and then Chris scored the second goal in like the 89th minute or something. It's the 89th minute. Look, I will say this. He takes this goal so well and he puts it past Charlie Morley who is a sensational keeper. That goal was class but in terms of like moments and charity match in football, the game was poor. It was only 2-0. It wasn't like an 8-7, like an exciting game to watch. It is a great finish from Chris but in terms of YouTube football moments, it's not that high, is it? I feel like streets may forget it. Is that harsh? Screw it, man. Chris, sorry, you're going in streets may forget. Like, if you're comparing Bates and Shorts that, to that goal by Chris, Bates and Shorts is above it. The tier list represents that. It has to. However, I'll pay credit where credit's due. This goal you scored against the world's tallest keeper is a joke. Like, he calls it as well, the bounce in front of me. The edit on it was iconic as well, Chris, to be fair to you. Like, you've absolutely nailed the edit with this little cinema scene. Oh, he's done really well. He's done really, the editing team's pulled one out of the bag here, you know, it is good. Oh, look at that goal, man. It's absolute stanch, half volley. The amount of squaz on it is a joke. It's against a pro keeper, like, who's about seven feet tall as well. Oh, but this is what this is what I mean. Like, stuff in videos like that, like, it's not as iconic as, oh, I don't know. You know what? No, Chris, streets won't forget that goal because that goal was quite gnarly, I can't lie. Was speed offside? Yeah, quite far offside, actually. It's a well-taken finish, you know. This one's a well-taken finish, but he's so far offside. But I, my, do you know what's funny as well? He was so gassed. Like the Sioux going around the stadium was over so gassed, but he's so far offside. Bless him, man. He he, he wanted that goal. He, he still hasn't scored actually in a charity match, has he? But he, he, he actually cared so much about these matches and stuff like that. He was so disappointed. I liked his reaction as well. Taking off the shirt, going after, it was a Clattenburg, the, man, the referee, wasn't it? Clattenburg played along as well. Speed in general, I want to put in streets, won't forget, because that offside goal was pretty iconic, like the going up at Clattenburg's. Yeah, I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in streets, won't forget. All right, next up, we've got, uh, it's definitely not the next day, by the way, but next up, Harry knocking over Ethan in the Sidemen Total Wipeout Football Challenge. He absolutely sends him into next week. Oh, my God. Wait, is, it, is, is it just, I feel like, wait, was that it? I feel like there was like more to it. Where, where is the- Oh, it's here. Oh, it is here. Oh no, he's, uh, he's gonna go out. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, yeah, she could have like broken his arm, mate. Oh, like, oh, oh my God. Mate, 
that must have hurt so much. I'd forgotten about that. It's going to be streets may forget, isn't it? Realistically, it's a funny moment, but probably not going to remember it. Mate, you might not even remember it after 2030. Is that harsh? I'm going to put it down into that one. We don't really have any in there. It's such like a niche moment, but it is an iconic moment. If you're thinking of anyone getting knocked over, you're thinking of Vic getting knocked over, aren't you? Realistically. Speaking of Vic, Vic does it for the unpaid workers. <laughs> oh, it's such a cold crossbar, man. I might have to hang it in the Louvre. I'm gonna have to hang it in the Louvre. That is iconic. Think about it. How many people say that? A lot. They definitely did say that a lot, right? Right, guys? Chrissy MD versus Portsmouth free kick. You can tell Chris made this list, can't you? Like, just whacking in like any of his like good goals that he scored. Like, oh yeah. It's a great goal. And, and I, I think he, I remember he told me he took like four weeks or something to make this goal or recreate this goal. It is pretty cold. It is pretty good, I can't lie. That's a really nice goal. Yeah. Okay, fair play, Chris. Oh, with the way it moves as well. Yeah, that's pretty rascalized. However, he won't be remembered after 2030. Let's be honest, Chris. Sorry, pal. Oh, look at that. It's another Chris MD in his own list when he frauded the entire world. Mate, that got like hundreds of millions of views there. It was on like news art outlets all over the world. This is crazy. I will say this as well. This has got to be one of the best edited things Chris has ever done, I believe, because I fell for it at the time. It's actually like really good. It's actually like an incredible edit. I don't know how he did it. I mean, does he show, he, you know, he does show how he does it. But even so, like, it's still very impressive. I, I actually think this will be Streets Won't Forget when Chris MD frauded the entire world that his cat was basically Manuel Neuer. Fair play Chris and Smudge, who sadly is, well, we don't really talk about Smudge anymore, do we? Steven tries versus the F2. Do we hang it in the Louvre? Can we hang it? I feel like we can't hang it in the Louvre. No one's ever going to forget this. Like that video as well, when they filmed it with Brian True Geordie. Streets aren't forgetting that, but you can't hang it in the Louvre. I feel like you can't hang it in the Louvre, but no one's forgetting Steven versus the F2. Oh, that was crazy. It's going and Streets won't forget. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know what's coming up next. Theo's mine. Wembley Cup goal. All right, Schmeichel comes out and claims it. He's got the ball. He rolls it to who else than JJ Okocha. JJ Okocha plays it inside, well inside their own half. Theo picks the ball up. He goes past Perez. He goes past Cliver. He goes past Poet Carragher. Was that Cliver? Cliver didn't even play. Was that Cliver? Number 75. It could be Cliver. Shit, who played in Wembley Cup 2016? Cliver, it was Cliver. Oh my God, I didn't even know. Went past Cliver, Perez, Poet, and Jamie Carragher. See you later, Spencer. Slots it past Vooj. I'm sorry, I don't want to be biased, but I'm being biased. I might have to put that in GOAT. It's never going to get stopped talking about. I will never stop talking about it, which means no one else is going to stop talking about it because trust me, I won't let you forget it. Even though that was eight years ago. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of wild. But hey, eight, almost a decade on, and we still talk about it. It's gone in, sort of, it's gone in goat. Next up, we have Chris's missed penalty. Oh no, poor little Chris, man. Chris misses a penalty in front of 15,000 people, plus a lot more online. There's no one even there looking at him. He had it. No one's there to put him off except Hugh Wizzy. That is just one of the worst pens I've ever seen, by the way. That's not even gone any of the corners. It's gone down the middle. I'm not forgetting that. We won't forget that, Chris. No one's forgetting that. Sorry, mate. That's going in streets. Won't forget. KSI meets Heskey. Do we hang it in the Louvre? It's either hang it in the Louvre or streets may forget. I feel like it's either one or the other, which sounds weird. I don't know. Is it streets won't forget? I think it is, you know. if You know what? If I can't work out if it's going in streets may forget or hang it in the Louvre, I think streets won't forget when KSI met Heskey. Cristiano Ronaldo picking up girls. Hang it in the Louvre, man. This video has like 70 million views. This was iconic. Dressing up as Ronaldo, kissing girls consensually. I will say. The person in the video, Joe, did know, and I think he's talked about it before. We don't talk about the other videos. This Ronaldo one we can mention. That, for me, is hang it in the Louvre. It might even be goat status. No, hang it in the Louvre. Harry falling off the roof, man. It's genius. It's absolutely genius. People think, oh, did he fake it? Was it CGI? No, he actually did fall off the roof, but he fell onto a mat. I can't put everything in Streets Won't Forget. I'm filling it up. Or is it Streets May Forget? No one's forgetting that, are they? It's so iconic, man. Might even hang it in the Louvre. No. I'm gonna put Streets Won't Forget. This is like the greatest goal ever scored on YouTube, isn't it? By um, Connor, Chris's editor at the time. Like, look how ridiculous this goal is, man. They're about to end the shoot. Look at that volley. That is absolutely insane. Chris holding the camera. No one believes what they've just seen. Mate, that is so good. However, saying that, Streets may forget it. Sorry, but it's just the way it is. If Chris had scored that though, we would not be hearing the end of it. Right, Vic's penalty. Here we go then. I tell you what, mate, this is a well-taken penalty. He does the dodgy run-up. 
and he slots it home. It's a really good pen. Have someone that isn't confident at playing football to take a penalty is actually fair play. I feel like his penalty was more memorable as well by the celebration than his goal, if that makes sense. So I think Vic's penalty, Streets won't forget. And then Vic's actual goal, I think I'm going to put in Streets may forget only because I, I feel like his penalty goal sort of overshadows this one. And I think the penalty is actually a better goal and a better finish. Simon with the assist, Vic... Like, no offence, Cal the Dragon, you should be saving that. So I'm going to put Vic's open play goal in Streets May Forget and his penalty in Streets Won't Forget. And that's how you do it, Chris. Harry's Volley in the Sidemen Crossbar Challenge. 72 million views. Absolute joke. Straight out of the hands. And think how many people in football videos just do it straight out of the hands like that. That is absolutely wild. Everything he does goes in up like, Streets Won't Forget. It's so annoyingly iconic. But would they forget that? Probably not. So for me, that's gone in streets, won't forget. Look, there's so many things in it, man. Next up, we got Simon smashing Shannon's car. That's a tough one for Chris to take, isn't it, really? I remember I was in this video, actually, and we wanted to break that window so bad, and that car was just taking beating after beating, and it just wouldn't break until Simon's right peg absolutely sends that window into oblivion. However, it won't be remembered after 2030, really. I feel like I'm being harsh to Chris because he's actually got, not got one in Hang It In The Louvre or Go, which I feel like is wrong. But also, he's gonna have to hold that. I'm gonna put Streets May Forget Simon smashing the window because the next one, Lewis, AKA Redman, runs into a fence. Oh, mate, he absolutely plasters his face. This is horrible. There's just actually so much blood. It looks quite painful, but wait, why is he running into the fence, by the way? He just absolutely goes full pelt into the face. Like, why? I don't get it. Oh, 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 mate. That eyebrow was so slick. How was that even allowed on YouTube? Oh my God, it's so slick. I forgot how bad it was. Oh, I feel like it may be in streets may forget though. Because there will be some people remembering it after 2030. But, ugh. Next up, we have Jamie Carragher going after Joe. And actually me. He did elbow me in the neck during that game, which was uh, not ideal, Jamie. Mate, during that game, he was just swearing at us. He was calling all the names under the sun. We were giving it back in his defense, but he started it. He wanted to break Joe's knee. Like, seriously break Joe's knee. So Joe versus Jamie Carragher. And then, obviously, the aftermath was a bit um, intense. Joe had to take his video down because it, <laughs> it was quite slanderous towards Jamie Carragher. But, hey, he asked for it. He asked for it. I feel like Streets won't forget the Jamie versus Joe uh, beef. Could we hang it in the loop? No, we're not going to hang that in the loop because we got two left. Next one, Harry hitting his mum in the face. What were they doing? What, what was the actual plan there to hit a, a, a bottle? Harry knew. He must have known that that was going to happen. Who sits that close to the target chilling? That's got to hurt, by the way. It's a genius. It's one of the most viewed clips ever in the history of life, I think. That goes straight into GOAT status. I feel like I shouldn't be in GOAT status. I feel like Simon's time to smash it should go in GOAT status, and my goal should go down to hang it in the loo. I feel like that looks better. But then we've got me and Mia Khalifa, one of the most iconic collaborations ever on the history of YouTube. Who expected it? No one. And then I, I put on my story a few days later after the video started to bang, saying, wow, guys, thanks so much for the support, and Mia Khalifa put on her Sorry, gassing up the real time. I had Mia Khalifa gassing my real time, guys. That's right. And then she, um, then she unfollowed me on everything. Yeah, she unfollowed me on Twitter. She unfollowed me on Instagram. I don't know what I ever did to deserve it. Yeah, that that was a uh, that was a uh, that was lost. That friendship's gone now, guys. But uh, hey, the video banged. People didn't expect it, and for me, he had to hang it in the Louvre. Theo Baker and Amir Khalifa collaboration on YouTube. Who would have thought it, eh? And this is the final list. I hope I haven't butchered it. Did I improve on Chris's list? Did I improve on Simon's list? I don't know. I feel like I was a little bit harsh to Chris, but hey, who cares really? Oh, Chris put my goal in uh, GOAT status. Simon's halfway line in GOAT status. Interesting. Bates and shorts down in the bottom one, but I put it in streets, won't forget. Interesting, Chris. No wonder you got so much stick. 